It's your girl Ro in the building and I'm here to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Welcome to my Valentine's Day special edition. Hey guys, do I have a treat for you? Get ready to learn how to make this balloon arrangement. All the supplies that I'll be using in this video will be listed in the description box below. So if you're ready to get started, let's go. Starting off with the strawberry design, you want to get your strawberries, make sure they are completely clean. And in this design, I'm going to remove the leaves and I'm using longer skewers and I doubled up on the skewers so that they'll be sturdy enough when I place them in my strawberry box. So remove, place, and then let's get to our chocolate. Now I'm using candy melts. This is a candy coating and we're going to melt for 30 seconds. And I did two intervals and you wanna make sure it's nice and smooth. And then you want to dip and then place onto a styrofoam as you see here. Now when creating this type of arrangement, you wanna go with a simple but very nice and decorative design. So I'm going to be doing three designs. And the first design, I'm going to add some lines and then add some Valentine sprinkles to the side as you see here. Now my next design is just going to be some lines going across the strawberries. So I am doing three designs and a total of 12 strawberries. Now, depending on the size of the box, I may not use all the strawberries. Now this design is my signature swirl and I'm doing three swirls on this particular strawberry, as you see, and then adding some white nonpareils to the design. Now with my other strawberries, I just did another drizzle across the strawberry and applied a Valentine heart, which you'll see in the upcoming clips of this video. Now that our strawberries are all set and ready to go, we're going to move right into making the hot air balloon arrangement. I know you're excited, so let's get started. So here I have a medium sized box. They come in three sets. So this is the medium size and it's very deep and I'm using some dry foam and I'm going to take my container and press to get the exact size for this to go into my box. Now in order to achieve this, as you see here, I'm using four blocks and that's going to equal two sets. So it's going to give me two layers to insert in this particular box. Now, once you have cut out your half spear, you want to shave off any extra shavings that may prevent this circle to go into your container. So this is my second layer. As you see, I'm repeating the same steps to ensure that my spears and my circles fit completely into this container. See how perfectly that just went in there super easy very good technique to use so keep that in mind 
Now we are all set to go. We're gonna start off with our roses. And in this video, I am using fake roses. So if you were using real roses, you would want to place a plastic in your container and then the foam and then apply the water. So I'm going to take my roses and line them up around the edge of the container. Now I got me an open spot, just enough for my strawberries to go in. So now you're gonna take your strawberries and start to place them in the center. Now, the mistake I made, I did not put my strawberries in the center and then work my way out. And that's what you should do. So starting to place them with this particular design, start with the strawberries in the middle and then apply your strawberries on the outer perimeter of uh, applying them to the center of your arrangement. Now all 12 did not fit in this, so I had 11 strawberries, because it depends on the size, and as you see here, nice and neat. Now I'm going to add in some mesh, and this is a white color mesh, and just insert into the areas where you see gaps. And we are all set to start on our balloon. Now this is a Bobo balloon and I have a Mylar balloon. You wanna take your Bobo balloon, which is the clear balloon and stretch it just to expand it a little bit. I have my hand air pump, a stick for the Bobo balloon, and also my balloon pump. And then we're going to start with the Bobo balloon and we're going to extend it. So when you start this, extend it just a little bit, just to stretch it out. And now I'm just letting the air out because we're gonna get started on the Marlar balloon, which you want to take both ends and roll them towards the center. Don't roll them too tight to where the balloon will not um, un inflate because if it don't, you're gonna have a hard time blowing it up while it's inside the clear balloon. Now I'm stretching the neck and you want to now ex overextend the balloon so you can insert your Mylar balloon. If some of the air comes out, don't worry, but hold the neck tight enough to insert your Mylar balloon. And you just want to forcefully push your heart balloon in the center. If the air goes out, don't worry. Take your index finger and continue to force that balloon into the clear balloon, as you see I do here. And make sure the neck of the heart balloon is out, but majority of that balloon is inside the clear balloon. Now I took the hand pump and inserted it just to open it up a little bit so I won't have trouble blowing it up. Now it's time to put this balloon together. I'm overextending the balloon so I can take my hand pump and then begin to blow up the heart balloon. Hold the neck of the clear balloon tight enough so the air don't, too much air don't seep out, but leave it loose enough so that you can blow up your heart balloon as you see me do here. And I know you guys like, can I just use the machine? I'm telling you, it's gonna be hard trying to use the machine to blow up the heart balloon. All right, so get a hand pump. Now, once you have it blown up, you want to twist it, take the clear part of the Bobo balloon and pull it, and that is going to be your tie. You're gonna tie it up and as you see here, it's all set. Now take your holder and you want to twist it around and you're going to hook it on this little clip that's on the side of the balloon holder. 
and now you add your stick now you can glue gun this stick once you have placed and have everything together now the balloon i want it to come down a little bit so i'm going to take my flower cutters cut the stick and then place now this ribbon i don't have a specific measurement i just measured the ribbon around the box until it was um, to size and then i hot glued the ribbon onto the container then I have my little gold uh, butterfly, and I hot glued it right onto the flower. And then adding my bow to the neck of the balloon just to give some extra decorations. Now, for the ribbon to go over the balloon, I know you guys don't see the top. All I did was take the ribbon and measured it on from the inside of the container to the top to the very top of the balloon and that's how you get the size that you need according to how much you have cut your stick so every size is not going to be the same according to what size you cut down your stick all right so this is a uh, glue tape that i'm going to apply to the side of the balloon and that's just going to keep my ribbons in place on the side and remember, glue, insert your ribbon from the base of the, right at the top of the container, and then apply your glue tape on the sides, bring your ribbon up, and then now for the finishing, take your glue gun and just hot glue the ribbon, all right? And then apply it to the top and you have your beautiful hot air balloon arrangement. You guys, this was so fun to make. Be sure to tag me on my social media if you make this design, because I'm telling you, it is a treat. It's your girl, Robot to Go, and I'll see you in the next video.